All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Zik. I'm going to be your host for the next couple hours today. And um, that was a really awesome ETD run we just saw. Coming up next, we're going to be having an interview with Randy Bobandi that is going to be done by me. So you get more of me. And uh, I actually think we are set up and ready to go for that. So we're going to just switch over and get right into the interview. Is getting caught. I'm getting caught. Oh no, I can't hear Zick. Uh, can you hear there, me? I can hear Zick. I can okay. hear Zick. My bad. My bad. Okay. Let's see if We're taking back. off the blanket makes Thank me not you, get chroma keyed. <laughs> so uh, I am joined here with Randy Bobandy. Randy, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Randy's going to tell us all about Spire Reignited Trilogy. Yeah, so... So, Rand... It's a good game. <laughs> All right. So, uh... So, Randy, you have a run coming up after the 40 orb run. You're going Two. to be doing any percent trifecta. Now, I'm sure a lot of people... <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of people know about, you know, trifectas in Spyro, but what makes Reignited Trifecta special is that you're going to be doing the games in the order of two, one, and then three. Do you want to kind of tell people why you're doing the games in that order yeah so there's two versions of this trifecta the any percent for srt there's the one i'm doing which is just straight normal any percent finish the game as quickly as possible and there's no major skips slash no major glitches um that one does it one two three just because chronologically and there's no major glitches whereas with two or with the one i'm doing any percent uh i'm using major skips and major glitches because they are cool and they're fun to they're fun to do. So it's debatable. Why, it's debatable. Why we do two first <laughs> is uh, there's a glitch called level storage, and for people that don't know, level storage is something where you store the properties of a speedway, so you can supercharge and fly anywhere in the game and anywhere in all of the three games. So we do two. First, so we get level storage because that's how we can currently get it. And then we do one because it has less cutscenes after the end of it. And then we do Spyro 3. And Spyro 1 and 3 are actually the categories that you do aren't any percent. They're technically new game plus any percent because you have supercharge and fly. So we can just fly and supercharge our way, skip a bunch of gem requirements, skip all of Spyro 1 essentially. <laughs> Yeah, so you're doing, like you said, you're doing one and three as a new game plus category. Yeah. You know, how do those really differ from a normal any percent run of one and three? So for one, kind of same thing, there's two kind of major categories of, <clears throat> or for any percent, there's regular any percent, then there's any percent MBS. So any percent, uh, you do this thing called the balloonist skip, and it is a dev portal that's behind the balloonist in peacekeepers and it allows you to go to any world so i'm just gonna fly to it i'm not even gonna do the hard version of it i'm gonna have flight i'm just gonna go fly to it and just go to nasty's world that's so silly that it just exists out there and then like differences for spire 3 is obviously we're running faster because we have supercharged and we can fly and we can kind of avoid doing like certain little tricks and skips but uh there's certain gem requirements that we don't need um all we need to complete Spyro 3 is 2,300 gems. And those are pretty much only to, like, buy areas. Like, buy the four side, per side people and one other mm -hmm. thing. Um, there's slight differences in the route, since we're going to be getting some later, some eggs later in the run that we normally don't get in regular any percent. And then we're also going to be getting a different egg that doesn't get done in any percent, because we can get there faster than you can in any, in any percent. But uh, unfortunately, even with supercharge, superflight, all that, there's still no sorcerer's skip, right? No, that's <laughs> that's the tough one because even if you can get behind the doors, the portal isn't there, so we can't can't get in. All we can what is do, it? It hopefully... doesn't trigger if before the Bianca cutscene happens. Yeah, there's like the 100 egg cutscene that causes the portal to be, I guess, spawned in. 
and you have to get 100 eggs to get that cutscene. So the only way for us to figure something out right now would be some way to like duplicate how many eggs we have. That's about it. I was like hoping and <laughs> I was trying to find a sorcerer skip and if I found it I was going to reveal it here but I unfortunately did not. So you're going to be seeing me collect 100 eggs. Uh, but yeah. So I but know uh PB wise new game plus any percent. My PB is about 6 minutes faster than the world record for Spyro 3 any percent. And I am very bad at Spyro 3 any percent. <laughs> so it, t- it takes top. down it takes down my PB, my PB from Spyro 3. It takes it down about 13 minutes having level storage. Mm-hmm. So you can see it's just a lot faster than obviously not having it. Yeah, so you're going to be doing the run today on the PC version of the game. Are there, you know, just for people that might not be aware of SRT or you know, what are the major differences between, you know, console and PC and how it pertains to your run? Yeah, so the big difference is, is that on PC, there's wall glides. So wall glides still exist on console, but they don't allow you to gain either as much height, but they kind of let you just keep your height. Whereas on uh, PC, you can gain a lot of height. So it's especially useful in um, Spire 2, where we're just going to be running to the end of levels and only getting talismans. Um, so we can just like, Skelos is a good example. You start, it's like a 27 second split. You start the level and you just instantly wall glide to the end of it. <laughs> um, another thing is being able to set it to 30 FPS. And I mentioned this earlier in the 117 run, but <clears throat> FPS is tied to jump height. So the lower your FPS, the higher you're going to jump. So 30 FPS, I'm going to be big boy jumping. <laughs> and then there's certain other things on console that aren't possible so in the 2 any run specifically uh, I'm going to be going for a wrong warp which is a frame perfect pause on Glimmer and you can't, it doesn't work on uh, console I believe mm. or, yeah and then also level storage yeah. is different, slightly different on console because it loads slower so you might not be able to get it if you have a PS4 right. or something yeah, I know the wrong warp doesn't work on console, so you have to actually buy swim. Yeah, you'd... we're going to be buying one power up. <laughs> we're going to be buying cl- uh, climb, and <laughs> we don't even have to, but the climb <laughs> straps are too hard. So I don't know. House was kind of showing off during his hundred percent. I'm going to be. Go- I'm going to be going for the. I'm going for the first part of Magma Kong. Kong so that's <laughs> all I know, but I'll go for it. <laughs> So I know, uh, I know from the very beginning, I've known you in SRT since you started. You are a SRT to any percent runner. How's it been different doing full trilogy runs over uh, just well, an any percent run? Well, it's obviously longer. So my typical SRT to any percent runs now are like about 30-ish, 31 minutes. This mm-hmm. run is... A lot longer. It's an hour, like <laughs> estimates, an hour forty-five. But my PB is like an hour thirty-six. So it's a lot longer. It's a lot more. A lot of things have to go right to get a decent run. But I think I'm getting to the point where I'm like more settled with the run, and I'm able to kind of get through it and not have to like. I'm pretty good at all of them now. I used mm-hmm. to be only really good at two any, <laughs> not the other two. But now I'm like pretty decent at them all. Pretty good at fly into the debug portal in Spiral One. Yeah, yeah it's pretty, it's kind of tough. I just gotta so, um, make sure I don't bonk. So if someone were watching and they were interested in SRT speed runs, I'm gonna give you a question here of where would you recommend somebody starts in learning an SRT speed run? Um, probably for starting one, I would say join the speed running Discord, like Spire speed running Discord, because Literally, the second you like ask a question, somebody's awake. Whether it's somebody in the EU <laughs> or someone in North America, we're going to answer your question. Um, and then there's also guides for all the pretty much all the major kind of runs. There isn't a full guide for this one. All that's available for the run I'm going to do is Zix to any guide. 
<laughs> and then just watching like <laughs> just figure out the rest <laughs> just like watching minor houses runs because we're we're the people that majorly run this category um but i think just like to get started in srt or get started in speed running in general i think you just have to do it like you just have to start where, wherever you start you could start somewhere else you could start by just like doing a completely blind run they just start mm. because the longer you put off starting you won't start so just start in whatever capacity you want to start in, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's the hardest part is just doing your first run, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's going to be right. bad. I will say that. Runs are going to be bad <laughs> at the start. Take me, for example. I used to be, my first run on 2NE was 51 minutes loadless, which was about 20 minutes slower than last place. And now I'm, I did have the world record twice, but now I'm like fifth. Because that category's gotten pushed to <laughs> insane heights right now, but yeah. All right, my my final question for you: <clears throat> Who is your favorite Dragon Inspire one, and why is it Cletus? Uh, that's not it. I don't <laughs> like this smear campaign that you're putting on my boy Magnus. <laughs> so straight up, Magnus. Wow. I I might. I'm actually gonna save both Magnuses. Even though it's going to lose me time, I'm saving both <laughs> Magnuses in this run. So, get ready for that. The best dragon, Magnus. Not even going to get Cletus. No, not going to get Cletus. It's too slow. He's way out of the way. All right, well, you've, you failed the test. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Randy, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having Good me. Good luck later today on your run. Thank you. And uh, we will see you guys later. Yeah. All right, thank you, Zick, for that fantastic interview. <laughs> uh, coming up next, we are going to be, we're kind of going into a uh, SRT block here, where we're gonna have, coming up next, we're gonna have Dylan and Nos doing a 40 or brace. This, just, uh, just stay tuned for this. This should be good. Not only is, um, not only, is Nas and Dylan just two amazing SRT runners? Their PBs are within four seconds of each other. So um, this should hopefully be a really close race. And make sure to cheer on Dylan as he... Uh, make sure he gets that orb that's above Breeze Harbor. I know he has a lot of trouble with that one. So make sure everybody, when he gets there, to remind Dylan he needs to get that orb. <clears throat> but then after that, we're going to be having Randy's Any% percent Trifecta run. And then after the quiz corner, we're going to be having a Spyro 1 any percent run for Reignited Trilogy. So we have lots of Reignited Trilogy action coming up today.